Hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Let's get it. We have a super full moon in Aries on the 29th. You want to make sure you're springing forward and not going back to anything that could cause your your spiritual water to be low for you to feel spiritually dehydrated, right? And um, protect your energy, right? Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is a planet of assertion and action, but so you're springing forward. You're leaving behind anything that burned you out, frustrated you, angered you that much, right? Air, when you think about Mars, Mars is also the planet of competition. You're leaving behind anybody that sees you as competition. You're not. You're you're one of one, right? You you um one of one in your universe. You're leaving behind anybody that's in survival mode. Anybody who is trying to strong arm you. Anybody who is angry with you. You're leaving them in the dust. Anybody who has um this conflict in their spirit that could distract you from your your purpose behind in the dust outside of your universe learn how to start leaving some bridges burn just leave them bridges burn and move on move on with your life so mars is the tower card don't want that tower to fall on you so that's why i'm trying to help you here we go first card out of the deck el bobo here we have the nine of cups we have so the ace of cups the nine of pentacles the goddess card and also the wheel of the year this is still your year so it's the same right here go ahead and cut ties with something this is it right here. Source is saying cut ties with something so you can move into abundance and prosperity. Two situations in particular. Source is saying cut ties with it. Whether somebody did something to you directly or it was indirectly through somebody else, a, a job, people, places, a thing. Source is saying cut ties with it because this moon in Aries, this super moon in Aries could cause you to be super angry, could cause you to be super conflict in your spirit super fighting spirit you want to make sure you're fighting for your purpose so that you can get towards this right here so i see you closing out a cycle just as tight as this zero right here and i see you feeling changed liberated and free from a situation and here you go moving into financial independence i know it's tempting what's that song by uh jasmine uh sullivan i bust the windows out your car and there's one one line that she's talking about uh I think for a split second, and I'm paraphrasing here, so you all get the gist of what I'm saying. I think she was saying for a split second, she felt a little bit better, right? So Source is saying to you, move on, move on from something and learn how to protect your energy and start looking at all that you have to be grateful for, right? So we have an Ace of Cups and then also the Nine of Cups, one and one and nine, ten. This is instant manifestation. I'm instantly manifesting the life that I desire, right? I'm leaving behind anything that has emotionally drained me. That's when you're going to start thinking about, hmm, you know what? Those energies don't have access to my life anymore. I don't have to worry about my phone ringing off the hook when them telling me all of their problems. I don't have to go to that job anymore. I'm in a whole new job. I don't need to keep in contact with whatever. I don't need to find out that somebody's karma has hit them really hard because again, you couldn't stop it anyway, right? Even if even if you found out, oh my gosh, I miss I misjudged something. You, if their intention was to hurt you, you couldn't stop it. Any, there's nothing to, that you could do to stop it. Absolutely nothing that you could do to stop it. But also on the other side of that, if their intentions were sincere, and you start you sitting there waiting for karma to happen, and their life is actually getting better because they were literally trying to help you, then, hey, it, it's just not even worth the sitting around. So that number nine, you have the nine of cups and also nine of pentacles. This is feminine energy. You're a divine masculine sign. So sources learn how to be in receiving mode of the gratitude, the blessings. I've worked here. I've done this. I've done that. I've accomplished this. I've accomplished that. I planted seeds of peace, discernment, love, all of those other things. And look at my life. I cannot believe my life. And so if it's two situations in particular, like I said here, sources say replace them with planting seeds for abundance and prosperity. That's what source wants somebody to do. Protect your energy. Here we have the six of uh, six of swords, the four of swords. I mean, so the, excuse me, four of wands. We have the king of swords. We have the magician card. We have the page of wands and also the hangman. So sources saying hang in there with yourself. You know, you, you're not delusional. You're not going crazy. But once you start leaving some bridges burned, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. 
move on move on with your life you're gonna feel like a huge weight has been lifted this is not about who won or who lost anything source is saying you're gonna feel like a teenager again here's the page of wands we also have the magician card you got clear messages that are coming through cord cutting ceremony time for you to move on and start moving away from the depth of disappointment and get back on your throne you're an incredibly smart sign and sources say you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge about a lot of things and so it's time for you to move forward i do see somebody possibly celebrating outside of a, a job um a new job or possibly celebrating outside of a home or a new and exuberant love or somebody just feels like a huge the responsibility of something is now over you feel like a huge weight has been lifted do not go backwards keep on springing forward is what source is trying to tell you keep springing forward is what source is trying to tell somebody let me give you the questions for the moon in aries so aries is a fire sign like you it's a fire sign so here are the questions first question is are you struggling with low self-worth Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? Third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking a leap into the unknown? And then if you, and then last but not least is if you'd known that you were fully supported, what would you do? You can also go online and look up some gemstones and crystals that's going to really, really help you to give you the, you know, the extra motivation that you need to spring forward and not go back to something that could have burned you, burned you out, left you in a state of confusion, upset you, whatever it is. So like I said before, for some of you all, that will be a new and exuberant love. Hey, I forgot about the ex. <laughs> I got new love in my life. I need to close out that cycle big time, right? And then for some people, um, it could mean a new job. Forget that, 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 that or new position. Forget the job. Here we have the judgment card. Somebody is focusing on breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, and nothing else, and not feeling foolish, right? So it's two situations in particular um, where you're closing out cycles, airtight, and you're done. You're definitely done. Sources say you're moving towards uh, focusing on being more respected than light, uh these two cards right here pluto and this is aries card right here right so aries in where's the yeah aries in uh aries is ruled by mars this is pluto aries so mars and pluto are the tower card so source is saying to you you're having an awakening a tower moment to stay as far away the more and more you're talking about something, the more you're breathing life into something that was painful for you. Maybe somebody said or did something to you, but the more and more you talk about it, the angrier you get. That air mixed with that fire, I get upset. Instead of, so source is saying, the way you're going to calm it down is to talk about what you're grateful for. I'm grateful I don't have to deal with that anymore. I'm grateful I don't have to go into that job anymore. I don't have to go to that office anymore. I'm in a whole different department. I have a new love in my life. Like I don't have, that's not my, my responsibility anymore. So that's what I'm seeing for you. There's some kind of judgment possibly against an Aries um, because there could have been an Aries that manipulated you. There could be an Aries that, that this is Aries card right here. And that's the judgment card. There could be a judgment against an Aries and you're just finally closing out a cycle because you could have been really manipulated. So whoever the energy is, that energy acted in haste. The energy was impulsive. Uh, they, they may have gotten you caught up in some stuff, Leo, where you weren't even, you didn't even know the whole story, the full story about something. They could have been gossiping and telling you some stuff that wasn't even true. It was just a mess. So it's just saying your compassion is heightened now that you feel like something is over. I can move on with my life and close out some cycles and move on. Here we also have the two of pentacles. And so whatever the two energies they re replaced by an additional stream of income. So... Whoever, and I don't want you to get fixated necessarily on zodiac signs because this is speaking to wherever Leo is in your birth chart. That's first and foremost. But there's a certain type of energy that I'm talking about. Just a certain type of energy that somebody may have gotten you all fired up. You all are very loyal sign Leos and somebody may have gotten you all fired up. The energy is very selfish. They're very attention seeking. They have outbursts of anger, lack of patience. They're very impulsive, very impulsive energy. And source is saying to you, once you start closing out cycles, and somebody could have also closed out a cycle with the Scorpio, 
Um, so bottom line is protect your energy. Protect your energy, protect your energy, protect your energy, because that is key here. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Somebody's just going to feel a lot better once you move on from something. You're going to feel a lot better once you move on from something. Somebody was also, there could have also been an energy that was, like I said before, impulsive. Another energy could have been really, the energy could have been quite possessive. You know, like a person says, oh, that's my friend. You know, like you can't be friends with anybody else. They were projecting themselves onto you, making you look like you were the person. Hmm. Ten of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups, the Two of Coins, the Page of Coins, the Page of Wands, and also the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so we got the King and Queen of Swords here. So you're carefully vetting your thoughts. This is a time for healing, really, because like I said, this super full moon can make you super excited or it can make you super drained, so... I do see somebody learning how to invest in themselves and learning more about things and it's going to earn you more money. Maybe doing putting this fire behind studying something else and learning more about whatever that's going to make you more money. I see you being booked and busy and not burdened at all. Not burdened at all. Matter of fact, you feel like a huge weight has been lifted. That's why sources say stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Sources cooking up something really nice for you. Whether it's a new love interest that source is cooking up for you or a new idea about moving forward and getting closer and closer to your financial independence. So I feel like somebody is studying how to invest money or studying something that's going to increase your wealth, but there's definitely temptation. Here we have the seven of cups. I can just say, don't vibrate at a lower frequency. Don't go back to a Kundalini to have the same Kundalini experience, calling people snakes, all of that, because all snakes are not venomous, right? So Anyway, here we have the two of coins. It was an awakening for somebody. There was an awakening. You're moving on from it. The end. You're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Two of coins. I thought I saw this. Yeah. Yep, came out twice. So yeah, so source is definitely repaying you double for your trouble. Whatever that trouble was, definitely source is repaying you double for trouble. So let's close it out. Again, happy super full moon in... Super full moon in Aries. If you have a great relationship with an Aries, I, got, I feel like I got to say this. If you have a great relationship with Aries, don't start looking at them side eye. Because every single person on the planet is unique in their own way. So there could be an Aries in your life just because they popped up in the cards that you feel like, okay, when I look at a pattern of behavior here, I am burned out. This person is always getting me riled up because they know I'm going to be there for them whenever only to be let down by something. They told a lie. They didn't, they didn't tell me the full story. They neglected, they left something out, got me all fired up and I'm mad and I look like the bad guy, right? Um, or if there was a Scorpio, you know, somewhere involved, since we're looking at the judgment card here, nevertheless, your ancestors are very proud of you. They're, they're very, very proud of you. So here we have pleasure. Very, very proud of you. Something was, something felt like source wants you. When we talk about the judgment card, this is something purging something. I need to purge myself from certain, being around certain types of energies because their energy, who they are, they project that onto me. They know that I'm a person who is very loyal. Um, and you also got to look at too, there's some jealousy really laced in all of this too. Like if you really pay attention to it, why would a person keep setting you up to make you look bad if there wasn't something else underlying here? So pay attention. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, Leos. Pay attention. Deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping, detachment, and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Yeah. Just get from around those kind of people. They just, at a certain stage, you want to make sure that you're not letting people, people who know how to push your buttons, push your buttons. Because it always, it always makes you look bad. It always... Just like guilty by association, whether they're family members, friends, whomever, 
guilty by association. They think of the worst possible thing. They, you know, like for instance, if you have a friend that's kind of quiet, that needs more time to process things than you and this particular friend, they'll tell you that that friend is sneaky. You shouldn't trust them. I don't trust this sign. I don't trust that sign. Look at them. And the person is just simply there trying to process information. So expect powerful change because it's already happening. It's already happening. Cycles are closed out. You're moving on. You're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. So move on. Joy. Affirmations for joy. I was created for a purpose, period. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. Because you are. You always have been. You are and you always have been. So there is no competition. There is no comparison between you and somebody else or whatever. It sounds like when I look at the cards, somebody's just dealing with a very messy person. Like a, just a very, a person who is battling their own demons. They don't want peace. They like to keep a bunch of chaos and confusion. Like the devil, like a Tasmanian devil. They like to keep a bunch of chaos and confusion Especially if they know you're a very loyal person and you're a fixed sign, and usually fixed signs are, they'd like to stir up a bunch of trouble. 30. I am imaginative. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using uh, creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. Okay. Yeah, that's what I have for you, Leos. I was just getting ready to pick another one of the um, affirmation cards, but that's what I have for you, Leos. Like I said, close out the cycle in love. Source is sending you messages, be in receiving mode of those messages. Spring forward, not backwards. You know, cut ties with anybody. I don't care how long you've known them. I don't care what they think they know, the information or gossip they have on you or what they think they know about you. Cut ties with people like that. It will totally mess up your money and it'll mess up your reputation. You know, people will think there's a lot of people who really like Leos, but if you're around some energies that are hot headed and negative and all just messy, they'll mess up everything. That's what I have for you, Leos. And I will see you all on Sunday again. Happy, happy, super full moon in Aries. And hopefully that has helped you. Some of the gemstones and crystals that you may, um, uh, may want to get if you may have them already tiger's eye is good this is tiger's eye this and this is tiger's eye tiger's eye cultivates confidence courage and good judgment citrine is also good it magnifies personal power clarity and focus topaz is also another good one it stimulates and recharges it clarifies intention and then uh, obviously it is other ones golden calcite is another one but you can look these up online golden calcite actually instills mental alertness and willpower is good for digestion and diaphragm. So when you're around these types of people, you don't even eat properly. They just keep everybody on edge, just tense, because that's how their, their demons have just overtaken them. But again, whoever it is connected, uh, whoever's energy is like that, once you steer clear of those energies, you'll start to see how much better life seems, you know, without their energy. But that's what I have for you, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.